Welcome to part 3 of the Inventor 101 The Basics series. In this video, we'll focus on the Revolve, Project Geometry, and Visual Style commands. To begin, we'll go over a few of the skills that we've already learned in the previous two videos. We'll start with a sketch on the XY plane, and then sketch a number of lines that will eventually resemble an upside down L. Next, we'll be using the Dimension command to get the lines to be the size we want. Starting at the top, the line will be 1.5 inches, the rightmost will be 0.75, the bottom most being 0.5, and the left being 2 inches tall. Before we finish the sketch, we'll need to draw another line above our existing sketch and dimension it to be 0.25 inches above the top of our sketch. This will be used as part of our revolve command. After finishing the sketch, go up to the 3D tab and choose the revolve command. To define the shape, choose the L as our profile. Pick the axis button and select the line that is a quarter inch above the L, and you will see the Revolve Geometry automatically preview. Pressing OK will finalize the command. For the next step, we'll need to create another 2D sketch on the XY plane. This time we'll expand the origin folder of the model tree, right click on the XY plane and choose to create the new 2D sketch. To get a better view of our geometry lines and more clearly see our 2D sketch, we'll go to the View tab and change our visual style from shaded with edges to wireframe. From the Sketch tab, choose the Project Geometry button and select the two circles that make up the larger cylinder. You'll notice that although you selected circles, they project as straight lines on the sketch plane. Next, from the Project Geometry dropdown, choose Project Cut Edges. You'll see that unlike using Project Geometry where you'll select the lines that you want projected, this command automatically projects any edges that cut through your existing sketch to your 2D sketch plane. At the bottom of the large cylinder, we're going to create a triangle that intersects the bottom line. This will be used as part of a revolving cut command. As we dimension the triangle, notice that in addition to dimensioning lines and point-to-point -point distances, we can also define angles between two lines, in this case 20 degrees. Again, we will need a line to use as our axis of rotation for the revolve command, this time at the center of the sketch. After finishing the sketch, choose the Revolve command again, choosing the triangle to be the profile and the center line as the axis. By changing from extrude to cut, a wedge of removed material will be the end result of this command. To finish up, go back to the View tab and change the visual style from wireframe to shaded with edges. That's all there is for this Autodesk 101 video. Make sure to check out part 4 when I take a look at the circular pattern command on this CAD geometry.